Welcome back. All right, so just a few quick shout-outs. On- no, go ahead. 307 Reacts. If you guys didn't see yesterday's episode, you <laughs> should, uh, because I... It was not good. Chris puked I vomited, on some guys. cheese yesterday. I almost puked on some cheese. We ate crickets. Uh, we also ate sour pickle balls. I still yes. have the, the green shit on my fingers and probably my and tongue. Probably your tongue. Oh, yeah, definitely your tongue. So, yeah, if you yeah. want to see how all that happened, uh, and, go uh, check out yesterday's episode. We got episode. these fancy beers from France. It was pretty cool. And just so you're wondering, for anyone who's just joined us, no, I have not had green shit on my tongue for 24 hours. We shoot three episodes in one day. Yes. So th- that ep- yesterday's episode happened like... 30 minutes, minutes for us. Ago. Yeah, like, <laughs> like yeah. right in this room. So, anyways, go check that episode out. It's amazing. couple quick yeah. local shout-outs. Yes. I have to shout-out Hathaway Knives here in Casper, mm-hmm. Wyoming. Um, he just recently uh, anodized a blade of a knife that, that I've had mm-hmm. for a long time. He, he took it because he took interest in it. It's a butterfly knife. Mm-hmm. And it's actually, through the process, we found out that it's made by a company called Bali Song or Bally Song. Mm-hmm. And it's a pretty rare knife, and it looks super well, badass Well, technically, now. the company is Benchmade, which if you guys have oh, checked you out Benchmade there knives, they're, they come with lifetime warranties. They're pretty good knives. So it's a Benchmade. But Bali Song is the line of knives that they did. That. Yeah. And apparently, yeah, apparently it's there's really only rare. they only made like a little like over 100. 150 of them or so, something. So, so I've got a super rare blade that I didn't know about through this process. Mm-hmm. We found out about it, and now it's like a total one-off badass. Uh, look, I'm not interested in selling it anyways. So <laughs> the whole devaluing it by coloring yeah, yeah. it or doing whatever, I don't care. I, I was mm-hmm. never going to sell the thing regardless of the value anyway so it doesn't yeah. matter i found it on a beach when i was a kid forever ago forever ago yeah and i've just carried it with me ever since and gabe picked it up and was like dude can i customize this he took it all apart he redid the bearings he mm. put it all back together he anodized the handle it's it, it's an amazing piece of kit now. it looks great so gh manufacturing mm. or hathaway knives i believe either one of those will take you to mm. his uh his socials and that's what yeah. he uses across all his platforms you can find him fastest on instagram yes. uh second shout out for me local shout out there's a vaporizer shop in casper wyoming like it's called Northside vapes so i don't smoke vaporizers but my girlfriend does and we've been using them literally since they were selling vaporizers out of the back of their car and a delivery service is that sketchy Probably, yeah, you know, but you, you sometimes you got to take risk, and sometimes risk <laughs> equals reward. And now they're in a brick and mortar, and they're yeah. like set up to be one of Wyoming's. They're like on a list for a, a vote to be Wyoming's best vape shop. So yeah. they gave us a twenty percent gold member card the other day because we kind of told them our story, and they were like, "Oh yeah, we remember you guys." Yeah. And so super cool dudes. I just got to give some shout outs because we're local yeah. Casper, and we like to do that. And uh, mm. when I get good service, I like to I like to recognize yeah. that. So and, and like. Sweetwater Sound, okay. There we go. There is of links customer service. down in the comments, or not the comments, the description, okay? Yeah. If you click those links, it'll take you to our headphones, our microphones. But here's the thing. If you click that link and you're like, yeah, those headphones are a little out of my price range or whatever the case may yep. be, or I want something more expensive, you can go from there to somewhere else and it still helps out our channel. Yeah. Right? So, so you can click that link. Find another pair of headphones you like on Sweetwater, and it still helps us out. Yep. As long so, as you search through that link, it, that's all yeah. that matters. Just be bring sure up to Sweetwater check them and out. go from there. And if you're a band traveling through Casper, I'm sorry, uh, but if you have to <laughs> stop and get something serviced, <laughs> uh, Rockstar Music is the place to do it. Yes. Uh, as far as instrument repair and retuning and setting things up, they do an amazing job. They're really cheap. Um, and you know, sometimes cheap isn't good, but like this guy takes pride in his work. So he, he, it's the customer service thing. That's, that's all yeah. it is. One, one big, uh, reoccurring theme for us, uh, in local mm. support is customer service, man. You treat yeah. us right. And we'll definitely give you a shout out and yeah. let people know to come to you. So anyways, with that, let's get on with the episode to, uh, on the screen. We have dusty Slay stand yes. up, more stand up. Uh, this it one's is. called working after your two weeks notice is a, a sweet, sweet gig. Oh my gig. God. I'm just reading that for the first time ever. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. And you can already <laughs> see him up in his, on the stage and his dusty yeah. you know we're having a good time we're he's having, like in his little pose time. he's ready yeah. to go so this is going to be amazing everyone sit back grab a drink uh if you've got any uh if you have any beers from non-domestic france, drinks then go uh, ahead and grab yourself a nice non-domestic from france or germany and let's get right into this shall we like comment subscribe i think i might have said that already it doesn't matter dusty Slate. Let's, let's go get it uh, i'm pumped to be here i'm just pumped to be doing comedy i used to work at the western season i don't know if you guys know what that <laughs> is but it's like a golden corral Without all the class, like a silver corral. <laughs> like a, the class. Like the class. bronze corral. The bronze corral. Like an okay corral. You know what I mean? Okay. Like it's, all, like it's all right in there. Okay <laughs> corral. All right, we're having a good time. And uh, uh, I like to tell people we're having a good time, you know? I don't like to ask. Right? <laughs> a lot of comics come out here and they go, are we having a good time? Not me. I can't risk it. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> 
I quit that job at Western Citizen. I put in a two-week notice, mm -hmm. uh, not because I'm a good employee, but because that's my favorite two weeks of any job I've ever had. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's worth it to get the job just to put the two-week notice in. <laughs> oh, that's God. a good way to it's look like at it, It's a vacation man. right there at the end. It's where I get to say my favorite phrase at work, which is, I don't care, I'm about to quit. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of power in those words, you know? Yeah, he's not wrong. Your boss is like, hey, you know you were late today. I'm like, hey. You know I'm about to quit, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll be a little bit late. You know what I mean? I'll be a little late. I I'd like to know who invented the two-week notice. You know, was it the employee or the employer, right? That Imagine being question. the first, yeah. right? You're like, hey, I'm about to quit. Your boss is like, you're going to stick around for two weeks, right? <laughs> I will. Uh, uh, well, you're going to pay me? And you know I'm quitting. <laughs> yeah, I'll stick around. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Why is that? Okay, legitimate question. Uh, have you ever actually put in a two-week notice and, like, served out a two-week no notice? I have the closest I ever got. Okay, so here's the deal. Typically in the mechanic industry, uh, you can put in a two-week notice, but here's the deal. If you get given a job and your last day is tomorrow, but you can't finish the job within the allotted time, job there's no point else. in you doing the job. Yeah. So sometimes it'll be like, well, you know, you just go today because, like, you're not going to finish this job. So, like, we got 12 hours worth of jobs. And yeah, we got 12 hours worth of jobs and three hours worth of daylight so, left. Yeah, so. so you're done. Yeah, so that's pretty much what happened to me at one shop. But other than that, as far as being a mechanic, if you're like, yeah, I'm putting in my two-week notice, they're like, okay, cool, pack your shit, we'll see you. That's, like, my that's experience been has deal. been that even even working in, I worked at a hotel mm -hmm. um, and, and worked, like, front desk at a hotel. Mm -hmm. And put in a two-week notice, and seriously, like three or four days later, they brought me into the office, and they were like, "Yeah, you, you want to just finish out your shift today?" And you know, we're we're call it good. We're like, good. Yeah, you we're know, done. it's it's kind of your call. They they kind of left it up to me, and I was like, "I'm just gonna leave now." Like, yeah, you guys, now's good. You guys <laughs> clearly don't want me here. You're like, finish up <laughs> finish your shift. Up today. My shift. I'm like, yeah, hold up, you're giving that. me the option to finish my shift, and like, I just got here a few hours ago. I got like five hours left, and I could definitely be doing something better. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm about to quit. Quit, right? So like, uh, I'll <laughs> yeah. just leave. It's I'll good. Just leave. I'm I'm good. You don't need me here. See ya. So yeah, oh, that's the closest I've ever been to it. Yeah. I put one in, and then uh, they three days later they were like, you can go, and yeah, I was like, I was, okay, see ya. I was one week and. Three days into my two week, so I had two more days technically oh, to go, and they yeah. were like, yeah, they, you're "Like, dude, you're 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 done. Yeah. Just, we got again, we got a bunch of jobs, and you're yeah. leaving tomorrow, so just yeah. go, just leave. Yeah, just get out of here. <laughs> it says you're not. All it does is save us a day to move in the next guy in his yeah. toolbox and get him started. You know. Yeah. Like, well, uh, the funny thing, thing is, the new guy started before I quit anyway. Oh well. And so I was like. Yeah, so this is where you're gonna be working, okay? And so I kind of move like, all your shit. Uh, oh no. no, 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 no! I didn't move my shit. Oh. He didn't know that I that I put that in it was my all two you, week, oh, right? Okay, okay. So he's all hanging out. He's like, "Hey, bro, like, where's this? Where's that?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, the oil's over there. The oil filters are over there. If you need a reference, there's a book hanging on the fucking thing over there. Windshield wipers are up front by senior. You gotta go tell him you're getting the windshield wipers, whatever." And I was like, uh, you know, and, and hey, man, I know you got you got a diff job coming up on that differential on that Chevy. I'll show you the easiest way to do it. So then I'm over there helping him with his shit, and he's helping me with my shit. And then I come in that morning, and senior's like, yeah, just pack your shit and get out of here. I was like, okay, cool. So I go over to this guy, and uh, fuck, what was his name? Was it uh, Trevor? I want to say it was Trevor. I don't think it was Trevor, but it's close enough. I was like, all right, Trevor, well, it's been good training you. I'll see you. And I go ahead and pack all my shit, load it into my trailer. <laughs> He's like, see you later. <laughs> what? Huh? And I go, oh, yeah, these two bays, th these are yours. You get both bays because those were mine, and I had to give one up so you could, like, start. They're both yours now. There you go. Like, see you later. I'm off. He was just, like, dumbfounded. Like, what, what did I just witness? Like, Honestly, that's poor management for not telling that guy that he should be prepared for you to move out of that bay. Uh. It, it was poor. That's why I left. It was poor management. <laughs> like, there you go, folks. Let's keep going. Hell, I'll do a six-month notice if you want. I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you needed me to care about this, John. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, we're having a good time. And uh, <laughs> I like waiting tables. People do weird things in restaurants. You know, like Facts. people like to pair up wines with food. You know, and that's cool. But sometimes they do it in weird situations. Like I had this guy go, "What kind of wine do you recommend with the fried catfish?" I was like, I don't know, Budweiser? <laughs> I don't know, Budweiser. <laughs> Sometimes people come in, they got a real attitude. Oh you know, they come in, there in a hurry. They're like, can we be in and out of here in 30 minutes? I'm like, hell, you can leave right now. 
Uh, don't let Done. me hold you. I'm taken <laughs> care of. See ya. Oh, God, I'm about to quit dude. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can leave right now. I'm about to quit anyway. I don't give a shit what you do, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> can we be in and out of here 30? You can leave right now. I like, see you. I, oh, God, dude. That has been my, like, today, you would not believe the amount of phone calls I got. Hey, do you, do you have availability for, for a uh, differential service today? Do you have availability for an oil change? Today? Oh, and I can assume, these people, are, I can assume these people are calling like, you past noon also. Like, oh, in the afternoon, it, you're like, I'm gonna be here for another four hours, and I'm getting the f- out of here, dude. Yeah. Like, I I mean, regardless, we're booked three weeks out, and that's already the thing; anyways, it doesn't even so matter. Like, yeah, like what? No, I've got so jobs. So, like, well, for- do do you think that if I drop my car off, I, I had this lady today. Do you think if I drop my car off for an oil change at two thirty, that you could have it done by three? And <laughs> I said, well, technically, I could. Yeah, if <laughs> I had the day available. Now, here's the thing: if you want to bring it on the twenty first. And you bring it at two o'clock. I can have it done by three thirty because that's the the afternoons. If you try to shove an oil change in the afternoon, at least at our shop, it fucks up the whole thing. Yeah. So like we do all of our oil changes before lunch, and then all the big stuff comes in after. So, uh, but yeah, I was like, well, you could bring it in the twenty first, and I can have it done for you in thirty minutes. Okay, but like you can have it done in thirty minutes. I said, yeah, on the twenty first. The, the 21st, like, she just realized <laughs> what the like, fuck I oh, said. Oh, wait, oh, what? 20, that That's three weeks out. That's not today. I was like, yeah. <laughs> She's like, for an oil change. Y- yeah. You guys can't be that busy. And I was like, well, I don't know what to tell you. You know who's are, not so. that busy, lady? Lube Express. See yeah, you later. There's a like, reason they're not busy. Exactly. Anyway. That, that's what, like, what? <laughs> you know who's not that busy? Walmart Auto. There's oh, a reason God, they're not that dude. busy. Go get your oil change there. Good luck, dude. Like, For good real. luck. Check your shit when it comes out of there because yeah. uh, you're going to want to check your shit. Yeah. Actually, before they even pull it out the bay, walk in there with a flashlight and look underneath there and check your shit because <laughs> you don't want to be held liable for any of that shit, man. Oh, God. I don't know, dude. I've never really – I got my tires changed there once, and they did a fine job, but it was on my Envoy. It's not It's not a I mean, super tires, difficult like, job. Yeah, like it's a tire The worst thing they could have done is break your sensors, but it didn't have sensors anyway. So I don't know if it – I think it did, but they were a busted. 2002? I did, uh, it was a – I don't know. It was a 99. Oh yeah, it but definitely but didn't it was an envoy, so it had all the shit. I always had a flat TPMS tire thing. Didn't come out until well, okay. So yours had sort of a version of TPMS. So what would happen is when one tire would get low, um, it would actually so your wheels will spin at a different speed because one's inflated and one's uh-huh. not. So it'll trip your ABS, and then your oh. ABS will trip the. Tire sensor. Whatever that pressure sensor. Did you have an ABS light on? I did. On? Yes. Mm. The, it's the, it was the it was the mm. four codes of death or whatever that always come up on the envoy. Oh thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. The the, uh, the uh, suspension one, the ABS, and I the know traction control. Traction control was definitely and then one of them. The ti- the little tire thing. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 That little cluster. That, anyway, that let's every, back it up that every GMC That's owner knows. Every, every 1998 you know. <laughs> to 2003 to four. Yeah, yeah. You know, shit. you know the yeah. struggle, dude. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Go back to in here. Uh, I mean, don't let me hold you, huh? For real. Well, I'm about to quit anyway. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm three months into a six-month notice here, right? <laughs> My attitude is slipping. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I used to work at a seafood restaurant in Charleston, South Carolina, oh, a seafood restaurant called, called Hyman's, which is, uh, <laughs> that's true. Which that's is true. Blue. It's located on the same block as a restaurant called Sticky Fingers. <laughs> just, just telling you where it's at. And Rough. not everyone knows what a hymen is, and that's okay. <laughs> I didn't know what it was for a long time, but if you don't know, just go home tonight, look that up. Enjoy that joke on your own time. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what that just is. Saying, I'm, am I that guy? Like, yeah, I, guess. That guy. I guess. What You got to tell me, what okay, is it? Let, let, let's take a pause here. You're going to go ahead and look it up. Okay. Hymen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. H-Y-M-A-N? Uh, I don't think that's how it's spelled. I think it's H-I-E. And we're going to go ahead and just cut this uh, out of the screen cap. Hyman? No, it's fire equipment, blah, 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 blah. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe it is an H-Y. I don't know how to spell shit. No. That's a dude. No, 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 no. no. I don't know, bro. Uh, it is a part of female anatomy that is located in there somewhere. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, it. there you go. Okay. There it is. Found gotcha. it. Gotcha. Okay. 
All right, that's all we needed to see with that. Yeah, don't don't put that in the screen cap. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> no. All right, let's uh, get back uh, so, into this. So let's back it up, Tim. Yep, we're gonna so that back way up. he can set this joke up for Matt. Now that he's okay, educated. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> well, oh, we got to go back a little ways because he said yeah, yeah. it. It's called Hymans, which is uh, that's true. Which is lo- <laughs> that's true. Which is located on the same block as a restaurant called Sticky Fingers. <laughs> now it makes sense. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it's I got you. Not everyone knows what a hymen is, and that's okay. <laughs> I didn't know what it was for a long time, but if you don't know, just go home tonight, look that up, enjoy that joke on your own time. You know what I mean? <laughs> just saying, it's a tight joke, and it's a t- uh, <laughs> it's a tight that joke. was too far, and I am sorry. That's too far. <laughs> That's a good joke. That is a good joke. It's owned That's by a, a family joke. with the last name Hyman, and I was working in there one day, and this lady said to me, she goes, oh, are you one of the Hymans? <laughs> I was like, yeah, because they named me Dusty Hyman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the oldest one. You know what I mean? <laughs> no one will touch me. All right. Oh, that all was right. pretty good. Oh, God. I used to be a big drinker. I had to quit drinking because I used to black out all the time. You know, and nothing good ever happens when you black out. No. No one's ever like, man, you blacked out last night, but I appreciate you helping with those taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I used to send a lot of drunk texts. I was always drunk texting people, ruining friendships, relationships, and... I always wanted them to invent a cell phone breathalyzer, you know? That way when you're leaving that bar at 2 a.m., looking to text that ex-girlfriend you vowed to never text again, (laughs) you just blow in there, you go, (laughs) it goes, "Uh -uh." (laughs) uh-uh. Not tonight. (laughs) Not tonight. You're way too drunk for that. You just get in your car and drive home. (laughs) (laughs) You just get in your car and drive on out of here. That's (laughs) funny. Because in Tennessee, they say buzz driving is drunk driving. So if you're going to do it, get drunk. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> At least that way you can sleep when you get to jail. That's oh, God. I always say if you can get arrested for four beers, why not have 14? You know what God I mean? Damn it. <laughs> if you're going to be on a moped, have a story. <laughs> on a moped, have a story. <laughs> two DUIs. Don't waste them. Oh, God. <laughs> I used to drink and drive a lot. I'm not bragging about it. I mean, I was good at it, but I'm not bragging about it. (laughs) Back when I was drinking, there was no Uber, no Lyft. Cabs weren't reliable. So if you wanted to drink, you had to just drive, you know? Sometimes we'd get a designated driver, but that didn't mean they weren't going to drink, right? (laughs) That just meant you had someone that was willing to risk it. Yeah, 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 I've been there. Facts. That one friend with nothing to lose. <laughs> He's like, I don't even have a driver's license. You know? <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> I did quit drinking, but not everything's good. My power went out the other day, so uh, I've sobered up, but there's still some blackouts. And, um, <laughs> my wife got home, and it was storming real bad, and she called me, and she was like, the power's out. I was like, what? But it's that storm. Knocked out that power. Then I got home like three. By the way, I like the way his stories kind of lead into each other right so he talks about the the working (laughs) working at the restaurant well before that he was talking about you know what kind of wine would you pair with fried cafe yeah then it went to beer and then it went to him talking about uh well first it started with two week notice then the restaurant which led to the beer which led to i used to drink a lot yep and then I used to black out, so that's why I don't drink. But there's still blackouts because my power my went power out. power goes out, like, so I guess that, that still counts. That story stream yeah. is like... It's true. It's true. He's it's got a good way of stringing smart, it all together. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, yeah. it's a good good way to write, man. And there's a lot of comedians that are like that. I mean, comedians are... Some of them are... They're goddamn geniuses, yeah. man. Like I'll tell they, you this. Theo Vaughn... Watch the interview with Theo dude, Vaughn and Jelly Roll. They talk about that. Dude, like, it's really cool. They... they play a fool on stage but mm-hmm. behind the scenes man they're brilliant writers and like oh, they're, yeah. they're, they write these like you said these story scapes that kind of mm-hmm. like bleed into one another in these really creative ways to keep you interested in what's yeah. going on you know and, and you kind of wonder you're pretty like awesome. well three two minutes ago we were just talking about how do we get here yeah like mm-hmm. it's pretty awesome all right let's finish it up i did quit drinking but not everything's good my power went out the other day so uh, i've sobered up but there's still some blackouts <laughs> and um my wife got home, and it was storming real bad, and she called me, and she was like, the power's out. I was like, what? But it's that storm. Knocked out that power. Then I got home like three hours later. Storm's gone. Power's still out. I was like, dang, hell of a storm, right? <laughs> Turns out, power went out because I didn't pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> storm, just a coincidence. <laughs> like the power company's playing games. 
They were like, wait till the lightning strikes. Cut the power. They won't know what hit them. <laughs> and we didn't know what happened. We were walking around, looking in people's windows. We live in an apartment complex. <laughs> there was no lights on. We couldn't understand. But my wife was like, why don't you go ask one of the neighbors, see if their power's out. And we don't know any of our neighbors. <laughs> so I didn't. Dude, so I'm I glad didn't. I didn't. <laughs> but I imagine it would be something like this, right? I'm like, hey, man, is your power out? Because my power's out. Oh, your power's on. Okay, well, my power's out, so I guess they're cutting out power around here. <laughs> I'm just here to let you know. You know what I mean? It's me today, you tomorrow. Now I go to this guy with all my problems, right? I'm like, hey, man, did your car get towed? <laughs> the towing cars my car got towed. <laughs> well, your car's still out there. Okay, oh, okay, well, they're towing cars, so. <laughs> towing cars, so. They're towing cars around here, so. Stay vigil. You know what I mean? Stay vigil. Like, hey, man, did your wife leave? God. My wife left. Oh, your wife's still there. Okay, well, they're leaving. <laughs> they're leaving. <laughs> they're leaving. Better lock her up. <laughs> like, hey, man, you been crying a lot? <laughs> yeah, I've been crying a lot. Wife's gone. <laughs> Car got dead. <laughs> Power's out. <laughs> Hell of a storm. Hell, Hell of a storm. storm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, wow, dude. That good. was amazing, man. That was, that was really, really good. good. I, <laughs> Dusty Slay, dude. Oh, He's, man. He's quickly becoming one of my favorite comedians. Like, Oh, just his, like, the way he moves and talks on stage. It just seems like some dude that would just come into my shop and like, like we he'd have be people... the guy that would come into your shop and be like, yeah. "Hey, man!" Like after his car is already in there, and he's yeah. like coming to kind of like just see how things are going. He like walks in, he's like, "Hey, man!" Hey, man, I was just walking by and uh, thought you, I stopped by. Is your power out, out in here? Power out. And you're here. in there with a fucking yeah. air gun and all this, all the other shit working. Your lifts working, and you're just like, "No!" Like, oh, well, my oh. power's out. So <laughs> they're killing power they're around here. Cutting out so power I, around here. So watch, watch out, out yeah. for that. <laughs> He's all. I never went and asked my neighbor, and I'm glad I didn't, because I imagine it would have gone something like this. Yeah. Like, how else would that cover? They open the door, so and you good. see all the lights on, and you're just like, oh, hey, uh, so your kitchen lights are working. Uh, I wonder if every light bulb in my house went out at the same time. That that's got to be you it. Got a right? light bulb I can borrow. Like, that's, like, yeah, that's yeah. got to be it. Yeah, man, that's amazing. Five uh, out of five. Yeah, I, I love, I'm I'm always he, down for a good laugh. He just laugh, dude. seems like a real down to earth dude. And, yeah, and I like that. Like for sure. He, and the thing is, is he is so smart, but he does very well at playing just the normal. I mean, I I I assume he's a normal guy. Some of his experiences that he talks about are like real stuff. Living in the trailer park, dude. go lay down in a, in the ditch. You know, what like do, if you live in a trailer, what do they want you to do? They want you to go outside and, and lay, lay in, in the, the ditch. ditch. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be water in there. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be cold. You probably gonna get sick. <laughs> Yeah. Oh god. It, it's worth it's worth you your time to go over to <laughs> to go over to Dusty Slay and give him a uh, yes. uh subscribe. I'm just looking at this Four now. Real. Full five comedy. Okay. I just wanted to check and see if there wasn't a uh Yeah, we'll kind of have to see thing on this cuz it's from know. Comedy Central. So, but it doesn't see yeah. anything. I don't see anything on here, so we should be all right with that. Yeah, so. Should be okay. Anyway. Anyway, if you guys like this video as much as we did, be sure to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, click the bell, become part of the notification, notification gang. gang, and I still smell cheese. Check out yesterday's episode. We'll see you guys next time. Ow. We're having a good time. We're having a good time. I still smell like cheese. That's from yesterday. Still smell cheese. <laughs>